Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to avoid repeating a formula within your if statement. So I'll give you an example. Here, I'm counting the number of values in this row that are greater than 40, and then I'm testing whether the result of the county function is greater than zero. So is there at least one number that is greater than 40? Now I'm having to use that count if calculation twice in my formula, once in the logical test, and the next time in the value if true. So that's what I want to avoid. I want to avoid having to write that formula twice. This assumes here that you don't want this count if calculation in a helper column, which you could then refer to within your if statement. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first solution works in Excel 365 and it uses the let function. And the second example will work in any version of Excel. So let's kick off with the first example that works in Excel 365. So equals let. And the first argument is name one. So I want to be able to refer to this count if calculation with a name. So for argument's sake, I'll call it a comma. Then I need to associate a calculation with that name. And I'm going to do that in this argument here, name value one. So this is where I'm going to write my count if function. So the range is this range of cells here. And my criteria is greater than 40. Close the bracket. So now Excel will know that whenever I use this name here, A, I'm actually referring to this calculation here, comma. So then I've got to use this argument, calculation or name two. Well, I'm not creating a second name. I want to do a calculation now using this name that I've created here. So this is where I write my if. So I say if A is greater than zero, is the result of this count if function greater than zero? comma, if true, return the result of the count if function, comma, otherwise return threshold not met. So I close the bracket for if, and then I close the bracket for let, and I press enter, and then I can copy this down. You can see it works. So in the first formula, I had to repeat the count if calculation twice. In the let version, I only need to state it once. So if you don't have Excel 365, you can use this second solution. Now what we need to do is copy this calculation onto the clipboard. So I'm going to copy it, Control C. Now once I've made that copy, I need to select the cell that I'm going to write the formula in. Then I'm going to go to this Name Manager button. You're going to find that on the Formulas tab on your ribbon. I'm going to go to Name Manager and then New and I'm going to paste in my formula into this refers to box. Need an equal sign in front of it. And then I can give that formula a name, just like we did within the let function. So for argument's sake, I'll call this B. Now I'll click on OK, and then close. And let's see how we can use this named formula. So equals if, open bracket, and I'm going to say, is B greater than zero? So is the result of the count if function greater than zero? Comma, if true, return the result of the count if function that I've called B. Otherwise, return the text value threshold not met. So if I close the bracket and press enter, and then copy this down, you can see that that also works. And again, I'm not having to repeat the count if function. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.